Question 14 of test 7, compound angle formula. I like you to copy the question, answer it, and then look into my solution. That will really give you a good practice for the test. Question is, prove this identity. 1 minus sine 2x divided by cos 2x equals to 1 minus tan x over 1 plus tan x. Okay. So to prove this, we can start from left side and let's expand left side. So 1 minus sine 2x can be written as 2 sine x cos x, right? And cos 2x can be written as cos square x minus sine square x. Right. Now we can write 1 as sine square x plus cos square x. So write sine square x plus cos square x and we have minus 2 sin x cos x divided by cos square x minus sin square x can be written as cos x minus sin x times cos x plus sin x, right? It is difference of squares, so it could be written as combination, product of sum and difference, right? Now, sin square x minus 2 sin x cos x plus cos square x is sin x plus cos x rather sin x minus cos x whole square right so numerator can be written as sin x minus cos x whole square right divided by cos x minus sin x times cos x plus sin x. Correct? Okay. Now, now, since it is cos x, well, it's a square thing, we can think about it writing as cos x minus cos x times cos x minus sin x, right? Anyway, so one of them sin x minus cos x and cos x minus sin x can cancel out. Let me write, rewrite like this. That is better, right? Let me write it as cos x minus sin x whole square. It's a square thing, so whether you change it, it's one and the same thing, right? Plus sin x. Now, we can cancel out one of the factors. And so, we are left with cos x minus sin x divided by cos x plus sin x. We need to prove 1 minus tan x, so we don't want cos here. So let's factor out cos from here. So what do we get? If we factor cos, I get 1 minus sin x divided by cos x, right? Divided by, we'll factor cos x out, right? 1 plus sin x divided by cos x. Now, cos x cos x cancels out and we get 1 minus tan x. Sin x over cos x is tan x, right? So we have 1 minus tan x over 1 plus tan x, which is same as the right side, okay? So that's how we can prove this identity, okay? It's critical here to write 1 as sine square x plus cos square x and then use as a perfect square, okay? Thank you.